Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. We need a way to bring the fight to them. Let's hope we got something we can use. Well, they sure aren't gonna fall for that teleport hijacker trick twice. Even if it wasn't a smoking pile of scrap metal. <sighs> All the good stuff on here is gonna be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. I've received word from the castle. Apparently, they've spotted hostiles scouting the perimeter. We should go find out what's going on. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're no going to be helping out the, the Brotherhood. But before we people. do, let's go ahead and put some levels in. Good morning, Mama Murphy. Interrupting my intro. We're going to put both levels into strength training. And then we are going to go talk to Virgil. I'll see everybody over there. Let's go see if the experimental serum worked on Virgil. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is incredible. It is a significant first step, but it still only works on one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab, or Help yourself to any of this junk, if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. We'll just loot a little bit here, and then we're going to go over to the Pridwin. Let's go over here. Then we're going to go to the Pridwin. Let's go talk to Elder Maxon. So you're the new knight I heard about. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of background to explain. About 10 years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. 
What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. Elder Maxon. Lancer Captain Kells has informed me that the Institute's on high alert, and you're to blame. Explain yourself, Knight! The Institute is the enemy. I was simply doing my duty. Your duty is to follow my orders to the letter, Knight. Your instructions were clear. You were to infiltrate the Institute, find Dr. Lee, and convince her to return to the Brotherhood. <sighs> I'm extremely disappointed in you, Knight. I stand by my actions, sir. Do you? Well, if nothing else, you have the courage to stand your ground. That doesn't absolve you from your mistake. But let's just say you've earned back some of my respect. Fortunately, this incident doesn't change our current strategy. We have a contingency plan that's already being put into effect that should ensure completion of our special project. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. And night. Don't disappoint me again. Dismissed. Let's go back to Sanctuary and grab that hollow tape from Sturges. Action. I had enough of lying. Sturges, remember that hollow tape with all the Institute data? I need it back. Oh, yeah? Why? What have you got cooking? I'm working on something with the Brotherhood of Steel. They want to look at the data I got from the Institute. Hmm. The Brotherhood, huh? I sure hope you know what you're doing. Here you go. I've already made... All right, let's go ahead and go give this holotape to Proctor Ingram. I prefer laser weapons myself. It's a cleaner shot. Proctor, I came across a hollow tape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this hollow tape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully, it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best-case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan's scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll help us crush the Institute. It will, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us first. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence, because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. 
There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. What we need is a robotics expert, and there's someone in Diamond City that fits the bill. Her name's Professor Skara. Locals say she's a wizard when it comes to fixing robots. Why don't you head over there and see if you can talk her into helping us? Oh, and take this with you. Once she sees one of those Cerebro Fusion adapters, I'm pretty sure she'll have a tough time saying no. In the meantime, I'll prep Prime's CPU and we'll see if we can't get the big guy moving. Let's go ahead and go to Diamond City. We're gonna go to Diamond City Market. Okay, real quick, everybody is going to want to come over here to Diamond City Surplus and get a high-capacity magnet. We're going to be needing that later. Got a minute? Drinks on me. Broke up with my girl. She kept the cap on the toothpaste. You know who does that? A synth. Oh. It's you. If you brought any bloatfly glands, why don't you just bring them back later? I'm not in the mood to deal with it right now. If something's wrong, maybe I can help. It's my colleague, Professor Skara. Her normal field expeditions never last more than a few days, but it's been over a week now. I'm afraid something terrible has happened to her. Don't worry, I'll find her. Oh, that would be wonderful. The last place Professor Skara said she was going is the General Atomics Galleria. I'll mark it on your mapping device. There. Look, if you find her, could you tell her to come home? Now a swatter, that's a real one. Let's go ahead and put a level in real quick. We're going to put it into strength again. I'm going to put two more into strength. And then after that, I'm going to be done and we'll work on either endurance. Haven't made up my mind endurance or uh, medic. Let's go ahead and go to general atomics Galleria. Go inside the bowling alley. Welcome to Back Alley Bowling. I'm afraid our lanes are out of order today, but feel free to take a look around. Talk to Skara. Excuse me, but this is a private research site. If you're here to study these robots, I'll have to insist you relocate to somewhere else. Actually, I was looking for you. Oh, well, that puts an entirely different spin on everything, doesn't it? My name's Professor Skara. And in answer to what I expect to be your next question, Professor is my first name, not my title. The whole thing's rather complicated. Perhaps I'll explain it to you sometime. So, now that I've formally introduced myself, perhaps you'd care to tell me why you're here. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to ask for your help. How very interesting. I wasn't aware that you people ever asked for anything. While I'm flattered that the Brotherhood of Steel would find me useful, I can't help but be wary of your methods and motivations. Perhaps if you were more specific, we could come to some kind of a mutual understanding. We need your expertise to get Liberty Prime back online. Liberty Prime? Where have I heard that before? Oh, yes. I believe it's some kind of an enormous robot. Intriguing as it sounds, I'm afraid my work at General Atomics isn't complete. Perhaps you could come back another time. If we wait too long, Liberty Prime will never walk again. Hmm. It would be a shame if such a technological marvel went to waste. Hmm. All right, you've got a deal. I'll wrap up my collecting trip and meet you at your headquarters. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a few loose ends to tie up before I leave. Let's head back to Proctor Ingram. Enjoy your day at the gallery. There's something for everyone here at the gallery. 
We're going to go over to the Boston airport. Ingram? Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Professor? You call this a good start? This poor thing's memory core was completely corrupted. Haven't you people ever heard of inertial dampeners? Titanium shot casing? <sighs> it won't be easy, but I should be able to make a few modifications and get his basic functions online. If you can keep your inept scribes from slowing me down. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Scar is worth all the aggravation. I've never seen someone so proficient with Prime's power systems. She's already saved us weeks, maybe months of work. In fact, we're ready for you to start building his electromagnetic actuators. Sure, anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. All right, Ingram. Enough with the school lessons. Here's a list of materials you'll need and the plans to make the actuators. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Sorry, it's a high-powered magnet. Let Ingram catch you standing around. You'll be on Not a high capacity. We're gonna come over here to the uh, Boston Airport workshop. We're gonna go in here and we're just gonna build it real quick. Just go into special and then just build four of them that easy now we can head back to proctor ingram and professor scara if elder max in order excuse me proctor ingram that's all four actuators Delivered and done. Nice work. Thank goodness. I've finished restoring Prime's basic programming, but trying to explain to him why he can't walk is testing my patience. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them... His offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. Liberty Prime will be effective when we get him fully operational. But he'll lack the proper firepower needed to penetrate the Institute's defenses. She's right. Of course she's right. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Let's go ahead and crouch. 
And then we are going to head all the way over to Volt 95 because that's the closest area to where we need to go. Just be careful of the enemies over there. That's why I crouched ahead of time. Once we get over to this broken interstate, we'll stand up. Let's go meet up with Halen. Excuse me, Scribe Halen. It's good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled into Cambridge Police Station. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. That's not surprising. After all, it's in good hands. I appreciate that. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, oh, no. Not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the Glowing Sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. Let's go into our map. All we need to do is come all the way down here to the Sentinel site. We'll fast travel over here. Let's travel down here. Push the red button. And then we're going to go into this terminal here. And we're going to abort launch sequence. There's a ghoul right over there. I'm gonna hop down right here. And then we want to be careful because there's gonna be some mole rats that pop out at us. And then there will be some more ghouls coming around the corner, so be ready. We can stand up. We don't need to crouch. We'll hang a left right here. Over here, there's just a couple ghouls and some loot, if you want to loot it. Another ghoul right here.
I'm gonna come over here and talk to an NPC. Excuse me. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. You trivialize that which resides here. This place is holy. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. None shall enter. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. When he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners of the Earth. That is why they must be safeguarded. I want to spread his... Uh, g glory. Look, the bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Perhaps then I have misjudged you. If you would see these relics used, then Atom's will is done. Take this and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul. Let's go ahead and listen to a hollow tape real quick. This is Captain Mitch Dunleavy, 132nd Engineering Corps at Sentinel Site Prescott. All lines of communication are down, and we're tracking multiple inbounds on radar. This is a drill. We need confirmation immediately. We've got a lot of nervous soldiers over here, Command. This is the big one. They want to head home to their families before it's too late. Some of the inbounds are getting awfully close. Wait a minute. The inbounds are splitting into multiple targets? Oh, hell. This is it, isn't it? May God have mercy on our souls. Let's go ahead and go into this terminal. We're going to unlock the door or open the door. And then we can come in here and just off to the right, we can put the transmitter down. Or signal pulser, whatever. Same thing. Grab that mini nuke. Almost forgot the mini nuke. And then we can come over here and press the big red button. And this is going to bring an elevator down. Now be careful. There's going to be a glowing ghoul on this elevator. So be prepared for it. Dog meat. Don't be standing there, bud. Don't stand there, bud. It's actually not a bad uh, combat armor. Take the elevator up. Go ahead and go into our pit boy and then we are going to go back over to the Boston airport. Now that we have intelligence on the Institute, we can use it against them to gain the upper hand. I can't wait to see Liberty Prime in action. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are going to do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to make sure that the Mark 28 nukes remain stable when loaded into his bomb pack. Shouldn't take us more than a day or so. Well, Professor, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. I appreciate the confidence, but I'm still a bit concerned. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable is going to hold. I have full confidence in the abilities of everyone here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to activate the power transfer. Actually, I think I'm going to let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. I'm in total agreement with Proctor Ingram. The honor should belong to you. Liberty Prime! Online. All right, let's 
run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Designation Liberty Prime Mark II. Mission The Liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning, nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning, power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart. Recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. I've got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Professor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. With him on our side, I don't see how the Institute even stands a chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. This wasn't necessary, Ingram. Oh, come on. You earned the damn thing. Besides, Liberty Prime isn't about to run out and get you a gift. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Proctor Ingram gave us a mod for our power armor. So if you're using power armor, you got a new mod you can put on. Let's go ahead and go talk to Elder Maxson. This is the last quest we're going to do for the Brotherhood. What I wouldn't give for some new tools. Mine are getting... Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? Not at all. I have nothing to hide. I find that very hard to believe. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the synths on that list. That's impossible. I'm afraid not. The evidence is quite damning. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL. Disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you, and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He never told me he was a synth. <laughs> Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. I won't do it. Dance deserves a chance to explain himself. You will do it. This is not up for judgment or debate. I'm giving you a direct order, Knight, and I expect you to follow it without question. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor. And this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me.
You're dismissed. Attention. This is a reminder. All recovered technology must be presented immediately to Proctor Quinn oh, before evacuation. Night. I was told you were coming. Anyone Sorry about this business with dance. Will be subject He'll be to missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports and, unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? Orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen! You're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, sir. Where are you going, Halen? Think she got a little confused there for a second. Scribe Halen. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? That's a risky question, Halen. I know it is, but I need you to listen to me for a minute. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. That's a bold statement. It's more than just a statement. It's a plea. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being, give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was listening post Bravo an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now, 
or if he trusts any of us at all. Let's go ahead and make our way to off, listening duty, post Bravo. Careful for the turrets. Let's go into this terminal. We're going to power the elevator. And then we're going to take the elevator down. There's only a couple of robots Going to kill down. here. Unidentified. Your attempted escape is only making things <laughs> worse. Let's go talk to Dance. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. I wish you would have told me the truth, Dance. I might have, if I'd known what I was. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No. But I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that we're good friends. And this must be very difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else. But that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon. You're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Halen. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. But I have my own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Head back up the elevator. By the way, this quest right here is the only way to get Dance's um, companion perk. So you have to make sure that you do this quest to get his companion perk. dare you betray the Brotherhood? It's not his fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this... this thing not been destroyed? He's still alive. Because you're wrong about him. Him? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. 
It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond After measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about You're me? the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. Dance wants to save mankind, not destroy it. You're as delusional as you are insubordinate. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust, and I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute dance, or I will, Knight. The choice is yours. After all the sacrifices I have made and all the battles I have fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. Whether he's human or not, Dance saved the lives of countless Brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You're a stubborn man. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight, and your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin, or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, know you'll be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of him. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. Hey there. It took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxon like that. At least we know he isn't chasing you anymore. If you stay here, you should be safe. That's an excellent suggestion. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post, but it will have to do. Besides, you're still going to need my help, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Pridwin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. Let's go back to the Pridwin, talk to Elder Maxon, and then we'll head to Sanctuary and end the video.
Reporting is ordered, Elder. Before we continue, I want to make one thing clear. This conversation will be the last time we speak about Dance. As far as the Brotherhood of Steel is concerned, he's dead. Do you understand? Of course. The Brotherhood must come first. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours, including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Whatever you do, do not talk to Captain Kells or it will lock you into the Brotherhood of Steel ending for Fallout 4. Your promotion was well deserved, Paladin. We're going to come over here. We're going to take tactical thinking off and we're going to put uh, defend the castle on. Now let's go ahead and fast travel over to Sanctuary Hills. Alrighty, everyone, this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.